So you want to keep in mind, right, how he writes this scene, right, and how double consciousness operates in this scene and how it's, you know, he's also, he's not, he's not writing history here. He's not writing sociology. It's a very personal sort of expression here, right? So it's a very sort of, you know, um, complicated sort of expression of a lot of things here. So, you know, keep it in mind or take a look at it, you know, read it closely. And then it ends with a similar scene with the unfortunate death of the child, right? And again, the veil, as he calls it, double consciousness intervenes yet again at another sort of very human moment, which should be beyond history, right? But he is forced to, um, you know, deal with it as well. So this is um, this, you know, famous chapter. So take a look at it and see what you can do with it or see if you want to work with it. And then the last two chapters uh, to look at are chapter 13, which is a The Coming of John, which is a literary short story based on the Negro spiritual. Um, and it's, it's, it's the most didactic piece in the text where, uh, you know, he tries to sort of, you know, work uh, with some, this is at times complicated storylines. So just keep in mind there's, two Johns in this story. One is white John, one is black John, and uh, they come together in the story. I'll leave it at that. Uh, I don't want to take away uh, the story from you. And then chapter 14 is on music, the sorrow songs. Uh, so this is really the first analysis of uh, sort of pop music culture for scholarly analysis, uh, the first scholarly analysis of Negro spirituals. Again, Negro spirituals are the basis for, uh, you know, uh, blues, jazz, hip hop, right? And, you know, Du Bois is talking about all that type of stuff. He sees the power of these songs and he is treating them as if they were uh, the sonnets of Shakespeare or um, the piano sonatas or whatever of Beethoven, right? He treats them extremely seriously and sees them as a profound expression of African-American culture. And indeed, he thinks that it is the only true American music that has been produced. So there you have it, just a little bit of an overview of the text, some riffs on things, on the text that you'll be reading, the chapters you'll be reading, and the prompts you'll see. So I'll see you on the other side in Seminar 4.1 and Seminar 4.2.